So they don't even have any skateboarding regulations. Look at this. They don't even put the those uh, metal things on the ends of these benches for skateboarders. <clears throat> so this area is that new, but there's a skateboarder right there. Either it's that new or they don't think they have problems yet. They're waiting for the problems to get worse. What are the chances that the park ranger I was talking to really was a park ranger? Like this area was a big park and now it's developed so fast. They've maintained that park ranger status, but that's got to transition because it's confusing. To be a park ranger, you need training for like animal care and uh, being aware of poachers. <laughs> the city city enforcement for a park ranger is it's like it's just doesn't align for the uh, objectives right, so the sheriff of maricopa i just a truck came uh whizzing by me on the road and i look and read it said on the back town of queen creek so they have a sheriff who's who's fully dedicated to the town by by putting the the stickers on they don't leave this is their entire jurisdiction for the sheriff office well once again I'm not proud of myself this thing was full of apple slices that I got from the food bank this was a full chicken this was not a full container of water but uh, it was over half full Whoo -wee! that was a meal probably ate for an hour just sitting there eating away watching cars drive by <laughs> all right I can't believe I didn't think of this but I I can actually tighten it it's, it's loose but I should be able to tighten it it's not like the bearings broke I just wasn't thinking I I forgot about that as soon as he told me, I'm like, oh yeah, I think I remember that. Everything about this library is so new. It even says it's made in 2008. Come over here. You see their dumpster is wide open. They don't even bother locking it. They have the doors. They don't even lock it. It's a Sunday. There's a lot that they let their guard down with around this area that would not be a mistake made in other areas. <clears throat> All right. Neat little display not far from the library. Let's explain something. They're saying Queen Creek was established in 1989. Geez, that's that's a young that's a young township. That explain why things are a little wonky. All right, so on my right salivary gland, because I think I got two on the left and right. It was swollen for like three or four days, and now now the swelling is down, but I'm feeling sharp pains every so often. Somebody dropped their milk and then broke the top or something. I had to like jimmy this top off and the container was broke and the, the date is good February 23rd. It's been a cool night so it tastes good. So I just transferred it to this jug. Got a half gallon for free. Getting on this green tea to soak into the milk is not as easy as lighting a cigarette. It takes some time and I can't rely on heating the milk because every time I heat milk it like gets a hard film on the that forms on the container on the pan whatever if i had a little flame under here to heat things up it's just you can't really heat up milk effectively you got to do it maybe really slowly or something but yeah fire is it just causes more problems cold a cold infusion isn't isn't too it takes a while but it is it, it works Alright, I'm at the Florence Community Center Library, parked right next to Rosemary, and I'm guessing this is olive, it very much looks like olive. Two edible leaves, I just had a, I have rosemary in my mouth right now. 
I like the taste. I hear music off in the distance, people playing pickleball over there. Music is over at the baseball park. I'm just gonna hang out at this library. It's nice and peaceful. It really feels nice to have this kind of uh, serenity. I hear music entering this this area. <clears throat> It's, I took the wobble out at least, and things are pretty smooth. Simple tightening issue. Resource Center. Oh, it's a historical site. They got a lot of signs for these historical sites. <clears throat> I think this is. This might be a courthouse. It's got a very similar appearance. I think the courthouse is supposed to be located somewhere else. signs administration <clears throat> parking over on the side streets. Sonoran mud. Side streets are looking pretty good. surprised they put a big fence around this building. Must have some real valuables in there. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, they took the electrical meters. That is a real abandoned. Huh. Yeah, there's lots of abandoned. It's got a sign, <laughs> and people, other people have looked in here. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Talking about this one. <coughs> they, they have a number of bathrooms around, but I think these are probably locked too. Nope. I guess not. Looks like they're manually locked. This is set up to be a nice touristy area. They have a few of these historical sites, so they're trying to cater to the tourism. <clears throat> tender to the touch so there's something wrong there this looks like it used to be a gas station I seem to be getting some weird stairs around here Okay, I thought this was a library, but I guess not. <clears throat> they can't have two. This town is too small. I just had to look. There's supposed to be a food bank down this way. <clears throat> Open Hands Outreach. Reaching out to veterans. Is this the food bank? Open hands is closed till further notice, hopefully reopening in October. <laughs> For veterans assistance, call the Coolidge branch. Oh, the food bank's down here. Okay, looks like a, a hacienda church. This would also be a good spot to park overnight. <clears throat> All right, so it says nine on Friday, and it didn't say nine on the, where did I get that information? On the we, we, on a website somewhere? So today's only Tuesday, I thought it'd be open on Tuesday, but they're clearly saying on their sign that it's only Friday. And I, I, I have to default to their immediate signs over the internet. Hmm. Got a lot of smaller homes on display here. It looks like they expected the road to be uh, wider because they decided ahead of time to put the end of their their sidewalk there as opposed to along this road. They got so many of these homes marked as historic, historic sites. You know, in the big city, I'd wake up and just start eating. But here, I don't know where I would be able to go to the bathroom. So I avoid eating. Somebody licks boots. You gotta, you gotta have them call themselves out, make it obvious. Yeah, I think I've over, I think I've damaged my liver with the, the tightness I'm feeling in it. Well, I did, 
Yep, yeah, it's still tender. I don't think it should be tender. I don't recall if, it, if there was a time where it never felt tender upon some just a little pressure. Oh, it shouldn't be feeling so tender. And I wonder if I could push on it and if that is good for it. If it feels tender for acupuncture, that's the spot you're supposed to hit. This thing is broken. I think it's telling I'm going five miles an hour. Now I'm nine miles an hour. Earlier it said six. I know I'm only going 3.5. They got the prisoners in those vehicles, maybe 15 of them. In this small town, they've got work for them to do. Wow, this wall fell right on over. I wonder what happened. Cheap, cheap labor. I wonder if they got the name of the guy who put this together. Doesn't look too old. And the rest is still standing, which, which hints that that's gonna fall too. So they got three prisoners uh, in front of the Burger King here. With uh, one guy who's uh, watching over him, he's doing work himself. I've never seen the guy watching over him do the work them himself. museum probably costs money it's open Tuesday through Saturday 11 to 4 that's pretty long hours they got some displays uh, but they don't they don't want you walking up on anything they got a locked yeah they put a lock <clears throat> only when they're open you can walk in this fence area carry snack shop and prescriptions snack on prescriptions HughesNet, CM Wireless Technology Experts, 2018. All right, well, the sidewalk is closed. It looks, oh, I think there's a fence over there. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe not. I'll take a peek. Looks like I can maybe walk in this people's yard to get around. <clears throat> it's quite a cactus garden. Yeah, it looks like there's a route back here. Wow, oh, a little not very used, but it's available so they shave these cactuses you can see all the needles are off but not these these are more wild the thicker ones well I don't know now maybe those thick cactuses actually don't grow spikes maybe they don't grow spikes because you can see they're caught up in the tree here and, and there's no spikes on them. I thought I've seen them with spikes. Maybe they've been, they've, uh, some cultivators, horticulturists have found a way to, to breed them without the, the spines. Yeah, like these up here, these don't have any spines. You know, it's kind of the weirdest things I've seen for, th uh, for, uh, just farming things or whatever that have been grown goats without ears I've been told that they they breed goats without ears and I see they breed cactus without without any spines all right I can see why they need that gate fence over there this is a big wide open area to protect 